once I became an established rapper and once I got my respect up there, the only other thing I'd ever dreamed about doing was owning a barber shop, and I went directly into the barber business. Back on the ride. Got that rhythm. Now treat it right. You move the left. I'm in New Orleans right now because besides rapping and jumping around on stage, my other business is barbershops. I own a couple in Atlanta. These guys work at each. This is Slag Shop Edgewood at Winston, Slag Shop Roosevelt Highway with Marlin. I love the New Orleans culture. The people festive, they're jovial and um, they get to it. And there's a lot of smart people here, and I want to see the same culture we have in Atlanta here. And I want part of New Orleans culture to seep into what we're doing. So we're walking around, we're looking at locations. I think we're going to find something cool, and I think you're going to see one of the coolest barbershops you've ever seen in the world come to the N.O. real soon, you know? Hey, Ken. What's up, what? What's up, Mike? Man, chilling. What's up? We've been looking at spots down here on the strip, man. I think we finna, think we finna bring a swag shop oh, to New Orleans. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You like it? You, man, it feel, we feel at home down here, man. Ready to make a play? Love. We can't wear them Falcon jerseys like we used to, but... I think we good with that. You think? <laughs> <laughs> we try, we try. Low at the top. Okay. No problem. Can you get that Yeah. So you switching up. You, you wore a light fade the last time. That's how the women's like it now. You know, our whole philosophy is men deserve to be shaved, washed, and groomed. And I think that um, a lot of times working class men can't join a social club. We can't go join a golf club. So we go to the barbershops to express our thoughts, concerns, laugh, joke about sports, music. You wouldn't want to open a barbershop in a heavy metal city because nobody get haircuts. <laughs> Barbershops are one of the most successful businesses in our community, yet there is no real organization in terms of franchising. So I had the idea that I would like to see a, a series of barbershops, whether privately owned or franchised, that you knew when you landed in the city, I could go to this particular barbershop and I get this level of customer service. We have one of the most successful shops on the south side of Atlanta, the Swag Shop Shade Wash and Room. You know, my goal is 150 and I'm not going to stop until I reached it or want to die trying. When you get in a barbershop, man, you really can't have guy talk. And some of it is absurd and ridiculous. Some of it is very serious and needed. But all of it teaches young men how to grow into the type of men the community needs. My community especially needs mentors. For me and LP to travel the world now and have thousands and thousands of people screaming our name and screaming run the jewels, it just shows me that the risk was worth the reward. I won't be confined. You have to be like a wild, hungry animal. And that doesn't mean vicious and out of control, but that means calculated, focused on getting that meal. I never wanted to only depend on rap to the point if it disappointed me, I just wanted my whole world to wash away. I found something else to be as passionate about.